Hi everybody, this is Janet D, the PT. As a licensed physical therapist, I um, work with older individuals who have a lot of questions about things that can make their life easier and um, give them that independence that we all desire. Okay, so one of my clients was asking me about the Skechers um, slip-on shoes. Now, I've already seen uh, Kizex and Zebas shoes for older individuals. So today, I'm going to go through Skechers, okay? So I go to the Skechers store, and I start asking the salesman questions about like why and how the slip-on part of the shoe works. And he was telling me about how this lip over here acts as a shoe, a natural shoehorn that has some give but some shape to it. So it's gonna hold on to your heel cord, you know, the back of your foot, it's going to hold on to secure your foot into the shoe, but still have that give, that lip, so you can slide your foot in. Okay, now, as a physical therapist, when I look at a pair of shoes for clients, I look at three things, okay? I look at the inside of the shoe to feel like, okay, is there a natural arch that is placed in there, okay? Then I look at the toe box. So my client has a wider foot. And um, so I don't look for the shoe to come be coming to a point. I look for more of a square in the toe box. And then I look at the tread on the bottom of the shoe. Now what's interesting is that the salesman was asking me how and why my client would be needing this shoe. And I said, you know, for getting getting around and hopefully going to a um, exercise class in the community. Well, he was telling me about the difference that Skechers has for the base of their shoe, okay? Now, this shoe has more of a solid kind of tread, okay? But for their go walk, versions it's got bubbles on the bottom and he was telling me that the bubbles actually distribute the weight more evenly so then that way when you're taking more steps you're getting less impact on your joints okay so then the other thing that I was looking at when I was considering considering this shoe for my client was okay I'm a little bit concerned about the mesh okay that's just the mom in me of thinking like, okay, is it going to last? Now, so there's a difference between having a solid mesh and then having these loops. And the reason why I chose these loops for my client is because I thought it would provide him a little bit more integrity to the shoe, give him more of that compression fit that I'm looking for versus the mesh, it was kind of squishing up when I was in the store. Okay, so if you really like this video, go ahead and press like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors, Janet D. the PT.